The cleanup is in high gear in Burke, South Dakota, after a tornado shredded the town Tuesday night. Kelo Lane Sarah McDonald shows us the progress made today and what's happening tomorrow. Everywhere you look in Burke today, you'll see heavy equipment like this, a bobcat, a front-end loader, or a truck hauling debris. Today we're starting the second day of our cleanup efforts and we, we made some great strides yesterday, but we're, we're really, we're really uh, knocking it out of the park today. Yesterday was mostly spent clearing streets. With that accomplished, today crews are moving heavy metal and other debris left by the storm. We're starting to open things up and we can get at the debris, so we've got two different efforts going, debris and trees. The REA and then we have a local city crew that are working on the electrical. That's Actually, priority also is to get electricity back up and running. And, you know, everybody has freezers and those kind of things. We don't want to, if we can get it up and running so all that doesn't get destroyed, that's, that's definitely a plus. The mayor says work is going faster than expected because of the army of volunteers who showed up. It is really a sight to see. Uh, um, they're coming out of the woodwork. I mean, we've got them coming from Atkinson, Nebraska, and Winter, and um, Kennebec, and it's just all over the place. We had four skid loaders show up with tracks on in the last probably 15 minutes. It's pretty hard to describe, but it, it's really encouraging. It's really, you know, we're very appreciative. If you do volunteer in Burke, officials ask that you sign in at the fire department so they can keep track of where crews are. Tomorrow, the plan is to start raking and picking up the smaller debris.